Okay guys, today we're doing a classic American medical drama. Roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. We do movies, TV shows, music. Today, I'm going over ER, the American television medical drama that broke ground in many ways in television. Let's get into it right now. Okay, so I didn't start watching ER until maybe the third or fourth season, but I gotta tell you, once I did, I was hooked. Uh, immediately went back and watched the reruns to catch up once that fourth season ended and from there on out it was something that I tuned into regularly it's an American medical drama it's a television series that's created by novelist and physician Michael Crichton and Usually when you hear Michael Crichton's name, you associate it with Jurassic Park or something like that. But yeah, it's the same guy. This show aired on NBC from September 19th, 1994 until April 2nd, 2009. There is a total of 331 episodes and it spans 15 seasons. ER follows the inner life of the emergency room of a fictional hospital called County General located in Chicago, Illinois. This show is the second longest running primetime medical drama in American television history, second only to Grey's Anatomy. It's won 23 primetime Emmy Awards, including 1996 Outstanding Drama Series Award and received 124 Emmy nominations. One doesn't really think in terms of gross profit for TV shows, but as of 2014, ER had grossed over three billion in television revenue. Now in 1974, Michael Crichton wrote the screenplay based on his own experiences as a medical student in a busy hospital emergency room. The screenplay went nowhere and Crichton turned to other topics. In 1990 he published the novel Jurassic Park and in 93 began a collaboration with director Steven Spielberg on the film adaptation of the book. Crichton and Spielberg then turned to ER but decided to film the story as a two-hour pilot for a television series rather than a feature film. Spielberg's Amblin Entertainment provided John Wells as the show's executive producer. The script used to shoot the pilot was virtually unchanged from that Crichton novel that he wrote in 1974. The only substantive changes made by the producers in 94 were that the Susan Lewis character became a woman and the Peter Benton character became African American. The Carol Hathaway character, who was supposed to die at the end of the original pilot episode, was retained. And Hathaway is one of the most beloved characters on the show. The original cast consisted of Anthony Edwards as Dr. Mark Green, George Clooney as Dr. Doug Ross, Sherry Stringfield as Dr. Susan Lewis, Noah Wiley as medical student John Carter, and Eric LaSalle as Dr. Peter Benton. As the series continued, some key changes were made. Again, Nurse Carol Hathaway played by Juliana Margulies, who had attempted suicide in the original pilot script, was made into a regular cast member. Additions like ming Nay Wen, debuted in the middle of the first season as medical student Jing Mei Deb Chen. Gloria Rubin, Laura Ennis were also added to the show. Warner Home Media has released all 15 seasons of ER. In 2018, Hulu struck a deal with Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution to stream all 15 seasons of the show. So, if you don't have access to the DVDs, 
you can still stream this on Hulu. ER is one of those shows that obviously if I watched all 15 seasons, it had to be a damn good show. So yes, of course, I highly, highly recommend it. And I think just like I did, when you start watching a couple episodes, you'll be hooked. Okay, that's all the time I've got for today. Let me know what you think about ER. Let me know what you want to hear or see in the future. Please leave me a comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. As always, I appreciate you so, so much. We're continuing to grow and I love it. Let's get bigger and better with each episode. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I'll see you soon.